Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are building a corner desk for my son's closet. He has a huge oversized walk-in closet and so we're going to build a corner desk for him. So, so far what we've done is we got a sheet of maple finish cabinet wood. And so it was a 4 by 8 sheet. We cut it down a little bit. And, uh, and basically what we did is we took and, and we cut a nice square. It's 38 by 38 inches. And then I pretty much measured 20 inches from side to side and made a 45 degree cut out of it. So this is where he would sit. It would be right here. And then I built two 24 inch sections that come off of it. So these are the kind of the two wings that come off of it and it'll go into the corner of a wall. So these wings actually are going to sit on two different cabinets. So very similar how we built the other cabinets. We built these out like this. So we built two of them. So they have shelves in them. Obviously they don't have the finished trim on them yet. So we built two of these. And each of those 24 inch wings are going to sit on this as, um, and kind of be centered on this. So it provides support. Okay, so each of these cabinets, we built these cabinets at 29 inches. So we figured that 29 inches, we'll have another inch for every 40 inches for a desk, which would be about the standard size that, that you'd have for a desk to get your feet under and everything else. So these are 29 inches. And then at the end of this, we'll have, we'll have a 30 inch desk. Now that I have basically three pieces for the desktop, um, I need to find a way to make these things all kind of secured together. So under the desk, I'm going and making some cross beams in there. And so basically you can see, I basically have one by, um, one by twos, these are one by twos. Um, and I'm just gonna secure them equally away from the edge. And that way all the seams, I can pull all the seams super tight together. And once I pull the seams all tight, tight together, then I can get the cabinets put in place where I want them. We're doing the trim work now on the desk. So we're taking an, we had a lot of exposed wood like you see here on the side where it's all exposed and it's kind of rough that never paints really well. So what we're doing is we're taking these one by twos and we're basically gonna trim out the entire desk with it just like that so it has a nice finished look to it. And then once we do that, we did it on, we're gonna do it on the top of the desk. Like you can see with this piece here, we're gonna kind of go in, we're gonna do a, a second angle on that so it has a nice finish to it. And we also trimmed out all of the base cabinets as well. So we trimmed them all out. They gave them a nice little kind of finished look at the bottom. And then we'll have to go back through after we're done and putty up everything and make sure it's nice and good there. And at that point, we will be ready to paint and install upstairs. I have a saw that cuts perfect, 90, or perfect 45 degree corners. So now put your corner up. That should be perfect, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so pretty much all the wood's been added to this project. And uh, pretty, I like it kind of how it turned out. Um, so right now we're just finishing, putting some uh, finishing touches on it. We're doing some sanding. We've filled in all the little holes that we have. We have a few things that, a, little, a couple of nails that need to be pushed a little bit into the wood and filled in. Um, once we do that, then we pretty much have to prime it and paint it. And so this is gonna be a dark gray when it's all said and done. And then the last piece is we got to put some pieces against the wall because this last piece over here obviously doesn't have a leg on it and it's kind of suspended. Uh, so instead of putting a leg on that, we're going to basically put a couple trim pieces against some of the studs on the walls so the desk kind of sits on top of that and has good stability but nothing underneath it. So it'll look really nice. Okay. We're priming all of our wood. So this is going to be a painted piece in storage room. It's a good idea to throw primer on wood because the primer will soak into the wood and when you actually do put your finish coat on, you'll get a good even finish coat instead of some areas having it soak in a little bit more than others. So I'm priming it with Kills. Um, it's just a latex primer. It's nice because it's easy to work with. It's not oil based or any of that sort of stuff. So it's really kind of easy to work with and kind of just, you know, clean up with water and soap and that's about it. So I'm gonna put a coat on each thing and uh, hopefully it all turns out nice and smooth. Okay guys, so this is the finished desk 
that goes in my son's walk-in closet because as you can see it's a big closet he doesn't use hardly any of the space at all he doesn't hang up most of his stuff he just uses the back thing so he wanted to have um, a desk so he could do his schoolwork and that sort of thing and so we built this so um, the last few things I did is obviously you saw me painting it um, and then I put in a rail across the back because the back you can see underneath there doesn't have any support to it so I put in two rails that match the desk so it gives it stability made sure everything was leveled out and that sort of thing so it's got good stability to it you can stand on it okay so everything kind of sits in place then it's not really secured to the wall it doesn't need to really be secured to the wall it's fairly heavy I mean just because it's a lot of wood and obviously you get natural support from the two shelves that are built in the only thing I would probably do different and I ran out of of wood to do it is I probably would put a backer on both the top and the bottom. So I didn't do that because I ran out of wood and I didn't want to run to the hardware store at the time. But I like the backers on it because nothing can kind of slide back, fall out of it, that sort of thing. So everything he kind of crams in here will kind of stay crammed in there. Um, so I'll probably at some point put that on there and, uh, and finish it with the gray as well. But I also like that I didn't have to um, pull any of the, the bottom molding off the wall. So I did that on purpose because Frankly, when you pull that off the wall, it leaves bad marks to it, things like that. And I kind of like that it's a little bit off the wall. Um, it just gives it a little bit more, more depth to it and that sort of thing. So I wouldn't change any of that. Um, this whole project, probably the top piece of wood is roughly $50. Um, a little bit less than that because I had it kind of left over from jobs. But this is three pieces of wood. So it's a, basically a big square with a 45 degree angle cut out of it. And then two just rectangles that are on it to, to give it the, the arms to it as well. So I had that wood really, um, and, but between the top of wood and the shelves for, for the thing, it's probably a $50 piece of wood. And then all the trim work, these are one by, these are one by twos right here. Um, I used that for all the trim work and angle cut them all in there and used that all the way around for trim work as well as to, to finish trim uh, the front of the cabinet. So I used that. I used about 14 of those. Uh, they come in six foot sections. They're roughly like four bucks a piece. So I used those so, um, and, and basically trimmed out the rest of that. And that's really it. And then I had paint left over from another project and I like the dark gray in here um, just to kind of offset what he has for a gray bedroom. That's it. Uh, thank you for subscribing. And uh, if you haven't subscribed now, um, then do that. Otherwise, uh, let me know what you think of this project and we'll go from there. And maybe the next time I'll show you something new.